Hi guys, Steve the Transit Camper. Welcome to the video. We are stealth parking overnight uh, in Shrewsbury. And we're going for a meal at the Walrus. We're going to try this new restaurant. Well, it's not a new restaurant, but it's under a new or in a new place. We're looking forward to it. We'll catch you later. See you in the pub for a Guinness. Please. Unbelievable. A glass of white wine for the lady, which you saw. Pine and Guinness for the man. Hello. Can't really show you much of the pub, really. But it's a beautiful, large English pub. Uh, but this isn't the restaurant. This is called, what's this called, baby? The Armoury. The Armoury. They do food as well, but it's not to my standards. I just realised what these are, and I love a beer mat. Oh, how annoying. Where do you think you're at? Come on, I want to go to the next pub. Boom. It's done. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Never mind. He's a big boy, he can handle himself. Let's just show you where we are. This is called Victoria Quay. That's the Welsh Bridge. Got hickories there. That was the armory where we just were. There's baby. And then we're going to go and have a pint in the riverbank. And the walrus is down this gap. Awesome. What the hell have you got there, baby? We're assuming we wait for the fire to go out. That's it in the dark. <laughs> I hope you're not scared of the dark if you come in the riverside. It's very dark. We're upstairs. We've got Banish. There's the bar upstairs. There's Bailey. We weren't allowed to stand around downstairs because that's where they do the food. We will come and try it one day. Baby says her drink is very, very strong. So hopefully she'll sleep tonight. <laughs> We're getting excited now, it's quarter past seven. I won't sleep. <laughs> See you later. She's nearly done. And I am. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> How ridiculous are those heels, babe? <laughs> I'm sick of feeling small. You don't want to feel small? No. no I'm sick okay. of being five foot two. Five foot two? Well, we, you're not five foot two, are you? Because we messaged you, didn't we? Yeah, I'm five foot two and a little bit. No, you're five foot one. And... No, five foot two and well, a little bit. Not sure about that. I am. Right, we're going up this alleyway now. And this takes us straight to the Walrus restaurant. I won't be able to video much inside because that's for losers filming their dinner. But I will try and I'll get done by baby. Won't I, baby? She's got the wallet. Put that wallet back. I pickpocketed you and didn't even know. Yeah, I did. It isn't. Yeah, I did. My trousers virtually, well, got pulled at the same time. Right, let's get in there. 
We are here and I've got a lovely view of the town, Victoria Quay. Baby is perusing the menus. I just asked Baby to do a quick sweep of the restaurant from her side because she can see down the restaurant. I can't. Not doing that. <laughs> Okay, that's what we'll do then. This to me looks like you can only do what the tasting menu. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do whatever you want, babe. It's all about you tonight. Because I love you. Don't do that. I've gone for a Hobson's old breakfast. What are you doing? Tasting. Hobson's Old Prickly. I don't know what, where it's from. Where's it from? I've got my glasses on. I still can't see it. Yeah, tell me where it's from. From the British Egg Job Preservation Society. Breed in Britain. Columbus and Lubelski. Right. Is it brewed in Britain? Is this it there? Oh, nice ring, monkey. There's a funny story about this ring. Oh, yeah. A few days before we got married, yeah. after somebody refusing to tie his wedding ring on. Yeah. Is that my wedding ring? No. Oh. We, I forced somebody to try the wedding ring on two days before we got married. Yeah. And he was too fat. <laughs> and his wedding ring no longer fitted him. Well, I Four put, years ago. It's because I've been to the gym and I put on a lot of muscle. Therefore, and my fingers went really muscly. I had to order some emergency wedding rings. Yeah. And I could only order a set. Right. So you've got the new wedding ring. Yeah. And this is the matching wedding ring to that. Okay. I've already got a wedding ring. Oh, so you wear that on your other hand. So I wear my other one wedding ring. That is cool. On this hand now. Awesome. So I've essentially married you twice. <laughs> Not going to get out of it now, am I? Taster. Baby's ordered ice cream for a drink. They've gone. Delicious. What? Looks like ice cream to me. I don't like ice cream. That's true. Our bread. That won't last long. First course. She's left me. Heartbroken. What happened? Nothing. Leave your arm. I was swirling my red to get the scent and it swirled out of its container and ended up on my shirt so I'm embarrassed now and instead of just moving on baby has decided to video it and make me look foolish I'm embarrassed Baby's made a crumb pile in the middle of the room. Unbelievable. Not even waiting for me to take a picture. So this is the bread crumb. <laughs> Babe, stop it. This is the bread crumb pile that I am getting rid of like Escape to Victory. I'm not dropping it down the inside of my trousers. But every time we have a meal, I put some of those in the plates to take away. I'm getting rid of it so that was a massive pile at the start. So I'm doing well. 
and you are bad. That needs to go in the escape to victory pile. Quick, do it. Drop it off. Drop it onto the table. Do it. It's still here, babe. Where is it? There now, you've moved it. I can't see because I haven't got Stop my glasses on. That. Drop it on the table. Now. That's it, that's the escape to victory pile. The next wine has arrived. It's not my favourite. What do you think of it, baby? Very citrusy. Go. Getting rid of the dust pile. You're doing well. Yeah. Baby's helping. Awesome. Escape to victory complete. So far, so good. Really enjoying the restaurant. And we already recommend it. Not even in front of the camera, babe. She's putting her hand in front of the camera. The camera's over there. Get out! So we're pretty much done. We've just got another couple of courses left, haven't we, baby? There's no extras or anything like that, is there? No. I don't think so. <laughs> what about a cheese course? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, well, I think that's extra. That's okay. I don't think you probably want that, do you? Bring it on! What? Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> Bit of beef? Ooh. Like it, monkey? I'm not allowed to eat it yet. No, it's a live video. I'm getting braver now because I'm drunk. Taste test. Can I go full metal jacket? Full oh, metal jacket! <laughs> Quickly! I've got to go full metal jacket! Oh, Take come time. on, babe. It's going too long now. Oh, Sharon! <laughs> Now, either I misheard her, or that is a stinking pumpkin. Now, I thought that was a cream, but you're all wrong. It's the plate. <laughs> Get me. Okay. I've got conned into the goddamn cheese. She always does it. This is an expensive extra. I like cheese. And she always makes us get it. Baby. Enjoy the cheese. Yeah. The cheese that you don't like? I don't like cheese, I'm not into cheese. What? Well, I've had a fair go at it. I've given it a go because you've got to make the effort. But it's not my thing. We missed the pudding. But it's amazing. Get! Unbelievable. It's absolute top draw that monkey. No, thank you. Oh.
Somebody has took my portion <laughs> because I don't like it. I'm not keen on puddings, I'm never really keen, am. I'm not keen on that bit. This bit is second to none. So somebody's took my portion as well. Oh. This is the same person who never wants to be forced to eat a pudding. That, that's beyond words, that is. Final course, chocolate clear. <laughs> right, so I wasn't in time there. The baby has just poured that into the... Oh yeah, into that full glass. Right, so you're going to have to go back over the video to show that my glass was never that full. Because it wasn't. That's the only way I've got it. No, thank you. Not for me. Well, I'm not keen on it. Definitely not my favourite one, okay? Oh, it's not for me. Oh my god. No, take it away. Take it away. That's not bad. Shut up, the lot of you. She's worth it. Right, we're aiming back for the stealth van. <laughs> <laughs> She's just had a heel wobble. Broke my ankle. This is Fever, the nightclub. That's Gyros. <laughs> Looks like a chippy. And then I've got to go and hey. take Cat for a walk, They're probably. Watch us get in the van, no, I'm going to get Cat for a walk. They won't even know. Cat's out. She's going for a wee. Oh, headlights. She's looking for some grass now, aren't you, Cat? Good girl. That's Cat done. We're heading back now to the stealth car. It's the middle of town. We're in a car park where you have to be away by eight o'clock in the morning. Baby's in the van, as you saw. Got a nightclub there, Fever gyro whatever that is a bar over there and we've just come out of the restaurant which was absolutely amazing and i'm heading back for the van i'm gonna whip the camera off the top which is the dji which has been recording for the last three hours and that'll be our time that's for overnight so there's a lot of activity outside but we've just got in baby's already in bed we I'm just not. get you are. I'm not. I'm just sat on the bed. Well, she's sat on the bed. She's not in bed. She's not in bed. I'm not obviously. undressed. She's not undressed. I'm not under the covers. Not under the covers. I'm not laying down. Not laying down. How does that justify being in bed? She's not in bed. She's not in bed. I don't know who said. Who said she's in bed? Did you say she was in bed? Oh, I didn't say she was in bed. I put another. I am not in bed. I've put another camera on the top. That'll capture a bit of the nightclub, but it was just a case of whip it out, clamp it on the roof, and see how we go. So we'll have a bit of that overnight. Coming up on the channel is a massive investment 540 euros quid, and that is a uh, quadraphonic, quadraphonic, it's four cameras on the van roof, which will be permanently installed, which will record in four directions. So just want to capture what we see overnight because we don't always capture it. So, bit of fun, bit of fun. Investment in the channel. Right, let's give Cat her a treat. And this is what I picked up earlier. Cat's favourite treat, apart from a chicken tikka from the Indian with no onions, is chicken raiders. There she goes. She's got the entire packet. It's about 10 chicken raiders. You know Cat, she's got a big belly. She's happy to eat and eat and eat. She won't taste any of that. But chicken oh, raiders. They smell. Yeah, they do smell, don't they? Woohoo! 
Look at her go, she's amazing. She hasn't tasted anything yet, she's had eight. Ridiculous. Anyway, let her eat them, and then we'll get into bed. Okay, so let's have a look at what cameras we've got set up. We're gonna do the front one, the rear one, and then the one on the reef. So there you go, that's all three cameras. Uh, we'll try and leave you with one of those overnight. Plus we've got the footage that we've recorded on the time lapse while we've been in the restaurant. So enjoy. And then just for those that are interested, 12.3 volts on the battery. That's the warmth of the battery because they used to overheat, they don't anymore. And then this is what amperage we're using at the moment. And I've just put the Chinese heater on. I can't see that, but I would imagine it's about three to five volts at the moment. This is going to be a big, big pull when the Chinese heater comes on. So we are freezing. So we are on 12.5 volts. We've got the CCTV on on the roof. That's that Sonics camera. The heater has kicked into slow mode because we're at 10 degrees, which is what we set it for to keep us warm overnight. And everything is looking good on the batteries. And now baby's in bed. And now baby's in bed. Cat has gone underground. She's under the duvet, trying to get warm. So we are close to saying good night here. Right, we are absolutely done. We're both drunk, we're both full, we're both tired. So we are gonna settle down. I'll leave you with some CCTV of what's going on outside. I'm expecting a rough night. <laughs> and me. And, and, and baby, it's already noisy out there. We'll catch you in the morning, take care. snotty and they're only just putting the entrance signs away for the nightclub it's still packed wow and the noise is horrific <laughs> baby's asleep no she's not no baby's not asleep baby's been awake for ages so i'm just trying to chill oh dear she's been awake ages it's too noisy. It's very noisy. The bass out of that nightclub just buzzes through the van, doesn't it? Uh-huh. And then there's loads and loads of people about shouting at the top of their voices. Crazy times. But we've got to stick it out now. Got this taxi pulled up next to us with his engine running. So he's getting on my nerves. You can see our blue alarm light going off in his window. Let me show you. He's been here about half an hour. He's just waiting for first from people coming out of the nightclub. I can't see how that's cost effective. If you try and get a taxi in shoes, but you got no chance, fully booked. And yet he's sat there waiting for people when they come out of the nightclub. Seems ridiculous. 
got some action from the police outside the nightclub. Good morning. Six minutes past six and listen to that Benman outside. Unbelievable. Absolutely shattered. Cat's awake. She's desperate to get out. So I think we are gonna, I'm gonna get up and get us home. Not having any breakfast this morning, but it's been a busy old night. Noisy, not slept very well at all. Up at half past three, then half past four. She's on her phone already. I'd get done for that, wouldn't I? <laughs> right, are you gonna say goodbye, baby? Bye, baby. <laughs> I'm going to jump in the front. You don't have to see that. And we're going to head off home. Thanks for watching Steve the Transit Camper. With baby. I feel poorly as well, which isn't good. With baby. Doing a little urban stealth. See you next time. You take care. Bye.